Hey there! You can probably tell I did not mean to film tonight. My husband's working late, and I felt like talking. Honestly, I've just been listening to too much Taylor Swift tonight. But, you know, it got me thinking about videos and video ideas and what I want to chat about. And I think, I think I'm in one of those moods where, you know when you get so fed up with yourself, you're just like, what? are you doing and why are you wasting valuable time um maybe this is like the crash <laughs> after 2020 or maybe i've actually lost my mind you know i am talking to myself so there's that <laughs> but so i have been not buying things since getting my chanel 19 well worth it and there are far bigger problems in the world but it got me wondering about like what is the point what it what is the point of this extra money you know and what is the point of having this accessibility this freedom the the ability to just go out and be fine you know, I was thinking about this today when I was driving, like, you know, if my, if my phone broke and my car broke down and everything went wrong all at the same time, I, I would be okay. I would be fine. And, and that is such a underappreciated privilege to be in, to be fine, you know? And... I think I'm just in that mood where I'm wondering why don't I speak another language? Why have I never taken a dance class? You know, yeah, I've, I've traveled and I've I made that a priority uh, when I got into college and uh, right after in my early 20s. I was a good student. I took advantage of a lot of opportunities and I'm wondering where the heck did that go? And maybe this is just off that mindset of 2020, but I haven't been out of the country in a couple years when there was a time when I was going to Germany like two to three times a year and just all around. <laughs> so it wasn't just 2020. And I'm wondering, like, what is the point of having this money? Like, what what is the point if I don't just kick myself in the ass and get a French tutor? go take ballet. I was never allowed to take dance growing up because my mom, like, I don't know, she thought it was a statement. I don't know, so we, like, had to play sports, um, which I loved. It was great. But I've always wanted to take a dance class. Why have I not done that when one of these bags would be more than enough to fund it? So, I don't really know if I'm going to post this. Maybe I look terrible because I'm not wearing any makeup right now, and cameras can be less than forgiving, but I don't know. I don't know if you felt like this at all in the last year or ever. Um, I think I'm just realizing how precious these resources are. Um, cause I think Instagram and YouTube have a way of kind of dulling our senses making us think that for some reason a bag is more important than, gosh, just being more. <laughs> um, look, I'm, I'm by no means a minimalist. I will never be a minimalist. I use my clothes and I use my fashion to, to speak for myself. I'm naturally an introvert and sometimes those clothes need to speak for me. Sometimes they, they give me energy. I love to wear bright red. I will wear head to toe red. And these things do something for me. So I am by no means um, putting down fashion or uh, the luxury community because clearly I love it. I joined it. Um, but I mean, you know, gosh, everything requires balance. And I feel like I'm tipping over too far, you know? Um, that That's what I've learned 
in this month and a half of not spending, so hopefully I will get back on track. Yeah, I've definitely been listening to too much Taylor Swift. Yep, yeah, that's what I've been doing tonight. I really hope my house isn't too messy. My laundry's right over there. Anyway, I hope you're having a good night. Let's see if I actually post this on Saturday. It's good talking to you.